Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, our goal is to help you better understand what search engine optimization or SEO is and how you can configure all SEO related settings on your Knobcommerce store site. For this tutorial, we are using version 4.2. So SEO is an acronym that stands for search engine optimization which is a process of optimizing your website to get organic or unpaid traffic from the search engine result page. In other words, SEO involves making certain changes to your website and content that makes your site more attractive to a search engine. So let's take an example. If you go to google.com and search for Knobcommerce Marketplace, so let's say if I want to download a theme or a plugin, I'll go to Knobcommerce Marketplace on Google and you can see all the marketplace pages are appearing on the search results on Google. Why? Because Knobcommerce site has been optimized to work and show all the results on the search engine pages. So out of the box, Knobcommerce is pretty much well optimized e-commerce solution. A basic setup and configuration of SEO features can help you in setting up a strong foundation of your online business for search engine optimization. So let's take a look at all the SEO related settings on your Knobcommerce store site. For that we'll go to dashboard in the admin section. Okay, so once you're on the dashboard, we'll go to configuration, settings, general settings. And when you are on the general setting page, make sure you are using advanced mode, not the basic mode. Once you have activated the advanced mode, you'll go to SEO section here and you can see all the basic configuration that you need to set up for your store. So we'll start with default page title. This title is basically appears on the title of the web page. You can see here at the top, it says your store because that's what is defined here. So if I change this to my store and if I save it, now if I refresh the page, you can see it's saying now my store. Okay. And this setting page title SEO adjustment basically defines if the page name comes after the store name or before the store name. That's pretty much it. I can show you the example here. If you go to, let's say, About Us page, in this case, my store name is appearing before the page name, About Us. This is page title separator. You can see the page title, my store name, and the page name is separated by the separator. So for an instance, if I wanna change the separator to like a pipe here, I can simply save it, and if I Update, you can see, now this is showing as a separator. Okay, so I'll change it back here. Default meta keywords. This is the place where you can define all the related keywords to your online store, what the content is all about. And similar to that, you can describe and mention meta description related to the content of your site, your online business, what kind of products you're selling, a short description that you can have mention here about the store. This setting basically defines if you want to generate product meta description automatically based on the content that you provide. We will definitely look into this option after discussing all these basic options and we'll go look into the detail later. The www prefix requirement you have three options, doesn't matter, page should have prefix or page should not have. Here you can define where, whether you want www prefix to show before the domain name of your website or not. It really doesn't matter um, because Google has confirmed that they don't see, look for these settings for uh, deciding if the page should appear or not on the search engine. But the one thing you have to keep in mind is that it be consistent whatever you select here. If you select that page should always have www prefix, that means always keep it consistent, not to keep chaining back and forth because that can negatively affect your ranking on search results. 
So if you set up www prefix for your domain name, that means if even if a customer try to go to the store without typing www, it'll they will be navigated back and the address will automatically add this prefix in the front. We'll also talk about like these are some settings. If you're not sure about what these settings do, you don't have to worry about these settings. This is the custom head tag. This is more for advanced users if you want to add any settings in your head section. If you do not have anything to enter, you don't have to worry about it. You can leave it as is blank. So once you have made changes, just make sure to save the changes. So these are the basic settings that you should always con consider configuring when you install NopCommerce for your online store. So once you have set up all these basic features, it's always good to look into catalog products if you would like to define search options for your product pages. So for instance, let's look into this Apple iCam. So let's say you've added this product. Each product also offers a SEO section where you can define if you have any search in your friendly name that you would like to mention here. If not, the knob commerce will automatically create the page name, the URL based on the product name that you provide. You can mention meta title, meta keywords, and description for that particular product. And again, now we can talk about the feature that we were discussing before. If you have not provided specific meta keywords in description, if you have this option configured where you are generating product meta descriptions automatically, then you don't have to specify that individually for each individual product. As long as you have enabled this option, NopCommerce will automatically generate meta description for all the products on your store site. This way you don't have to go through individual product one by one. So this is quite helpful option feature that you should always have it enabled. So once you have configured all the product, if you have any specific meta keywords, description for your products, you have defined it, you're definitely good to go. Another thing that you should consider configuring if you have multiple languages on your store to go on the same general setting page. If we let's go down here and the setting is called localization. So if you have multiple languages, so here's an example. On the source site, I have two languages, English and Russian. So you can see if I change the language and the URL, nothing changes. If I go any product page, there's no change in the URL. Only the content of the site is changing. If I go back, change in English, URL stays the same. So here's one option where SEO friendly URLs with multiple language enable. What this does is if you enable this option and if you save it, now if I refresh my page, you can see a code is language code is added on in the URL. So if I go to any product page, this language code stays here. If I change the language, you can see our use mentioned for Russian language. So this definitely helps if you have multiple languages on your store. So this definitely helps in search and optimization as well. And if you look at other features, automatically detect language based on the browser setting of the customer. You can enable it if you like this setting to work for a store. You can even use for images for language selection. And you can load all the search engine friendly names on start, startup. This is not recommended if you have a lot of products on your store site because this will definitely increase the processing and load time for site. But once everything is loaded, everything should work fine. But again, if you have a lot of product, you should keep it unchecked. So these are the basic settings that you should definitely consider when you install Nop Commerce for your online business. So this is how you can manage all the search engine optimization related features on your Nop Commerce site. So now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. 
Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by Knob Commerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.